everyone. My name is Gray. I'm the dietitian and health coach with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. This is um, another video where I'm focusing on some of the um, potential benefits of sun exposure. I didn't feel like it was appropriate to only talk about the benefits without talking about um, some of the potential risk. So for this video, I'm going to be looking at skin cancer. So before I get into this, I will say it loud and proud. I'm not a dermatologist. I do not claim to be, pretend to be. Um, so I'm, I'm not trying to step outside of my limits here. Um, I'm, I'm really just passing along some of the information that I, that I have found um, from the initial article in Reader's Digest that I found and then other um, sources that I've started researching. Um, a lot of the folks that are questioning our heavy sunscreen use are dermatologists. Um, so I just wanna preface that. Um, so it does seem to be universally agreed upon that sun exposure does increase skin cancer. However, um, what I did not realize is that um, the really dangerous skin cancers, the melanomas, the ones that are more likely to be fatal, um, those make up only around one to 3% of skin cancers. The other 97 to 99% are um, a much less harmful um, sarcomas is what they're called. Um, so I, I thought that was interesting because I just sort of lumped all of those into the same category in my head. Um, and really there are different types and they're not all created equal. Um, so for the melanomas, what seems to really put somebody at a higher risk is intermittent sun exposure and sunburns. So if you're sitting inside for um, 11 and a half months of the year, and then you go to Cancun for two weeks and just blast yourself with sun, get super sunburned, that type of sun exposure seems to be more harmful, um, putting you at risk for some of those um, uh, more harmful or more fatal melanomas. Um, so um, I guess a more appropriate way to get sun exposure, and I mentioned this in the last video, would be to get much, much smaller doses, you know, maybe 15 to 30 minutes um, a day or every few days um, to, to get some of those benefits without um, overdoing it, without overwhelming your system and getting sunburned. Something that I also found interesting too, a, a common not a common, um, an interesting sort of comparison, that's the word, um, is that for every one person that dies from skin cancer, there are 80 that die from cardiovascular disease. So in, in the last video, I talked about sun and blood pressure. So it, it kind of calls into question the, the risk versus the benefit. Um, if there is some benefit to sun exposure and lowering our blood pressure, does that outweigh the potential risk of, um, of sun exposure and possibly developing skin cancer? I don't know the answer, um, but I thought it was an interesting thought or comparison to, to think about. Um, you know, I, I also want to mention that, and I, you know, this is not to poo poo on any um, profession or field, but science has gotten it wrong before um, in all the different fields. Um, you know, nutrition included. There was, you know, a time in fairly recent history where we thought that any infection was caused by evil spirits. Or in more recent history, um, there was a time when we told people, you know, you should avoid fat at all costs. You should never, ever, ever eat an egg yolk. And we were wrong on that. So, um, you know, this may be one of those things where right now we're saying, you know, we should really limit sun exposure at all costs. And in 50 years, we might be saying, actually, we we got it wrong. Again, I don't know, I'm not a dermatologist, um, but I, I do think it's an interesting thing to think about um, because for most of human existence, we were outside, we lived outdoors, we didn't have um, homes and offices and places where we, um, where we stayed for most of our hours of the day. Um, so it's something worth thinking about. If you have, any interest in other nutrition or wellness videos, please check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.